Hi everyone. So what I've been working on during the past two weeks is right here. It's not quite done yet, but I wanted to post a video sharing the update on this and then I'm hoping tomorrow to go for a ride with my power wheelchair and post that as well for my mini videos, the last two of them. The purpose of this is to make picture frames using a table saw. It's going to take a bit of explaining for someone that's new to this. I understand this isn't going to be for everybody, but I'm, I'm finding it fun working on it. So what you start by doing is cutting the wood along this section. And these right here and here act as clamps to hold the wood down. This is going to be cut on a table saw instead of a miter saw. And this all has to do with my hips and my knees. So with a table saw, this will all slide forward on the table saw. Whereas with a miter saw, the mechanics of it's going to end up putting more stress on my hips and knees. And I'm trying to avoid the pain that that causes. So this simple piece of paper for now will represent a piece of wood. And what you end up doing is sticking it along here, along this edge, clamping it down. And this slides on approximately 45 degree angle but it'll be lined up in the table saw where it looks like it's going in straight, so to speak. And you end up with a cut at the one end, which represents a 45 degree angle. Then you take this and it goes around the corner and you do the second cut and that puts the other edge on this like that, although it'll be much more over here. And that's your one side of the picture frame and then you repeat it for the second piece then you, then you adjust the size and do the other side of the picture frame so it's almost done what's remaining is a block of wood that goes along here I've got it glued and clamped underneath some of my tools uh, to my left what I actually want to spend the time talking about is encouraging you to think through what you need in life and what will help you in life. I've been reflecting on this a lot during the past few weeks. There are friends that I've been bouncing different ideas off of and while well, trying to get my knee stabilized so I'm feeling much less pain. And I think what I would encourage you to do, if there's one life lesson for everybody in this video, is to think through what are sort of needs, wants, and desires. You have to take care of the needs column. So by needs, what I have in my mind are things like, you know, hygiene, food, some form of social engagement, and, you know, and quality sleep. So the stuff that's needed to keep you alive. And then the wants and the desires, I classify them two different, two different ways. For me, wants are the stuff that would be helpful to my life. And desires are, are things that I'd like to do, but, but they aren't as high of a priority. And that's kind of how I split the two is by priority. And then I've been thinking through you know, being effective in life and in a way treating money as a currency and wanting to make sure that I'm spending my efforts in ways that are effective. There's no way 
in life that I would mass produce what I'm creating here. It's not, you know, it's not helpful with what's wrong with my legs. But in terms of the laser engraver for making picture frames to finish off the pieces it creates, it makes a lot of sense. And I'm confident that I can set this up in a way that's not going to create ongoing pain. So in the short term, this is a really good challenge for me. And I'm finding it enjoying on the days when I can work on it. And then the other part of the equation is thinking through what's best for me long term. And with the laser engraver that I'm trying to get going now is, you know, once you hit start, it doesn't need me and it can run by itself while it does the etching. So I can still take care of my body, but hopefully earn some money that I can then use to put into the house and some maintenance that the house could benefit from, either to help me or just in terms of maintenance that owning a house comes with. I think that's all that I wanted to share in this video. I'll make a more detailed video of how I've made this I've been taking photos all the way along that I'll then use as a photo montage video. It's not been particularly practical to step one, step two, step three. And the other thing I'm trying to finish off in the not so distant future is the green screen. And I am sorry that I didn't get this done before now. The past, you know, the past 10 weeks or so, have been more of a physical marathon than I really expected to find myself facing at this point with how my right knee went. Having said that, it's kind of par for the course. So I've been trying to figure out sort of an order of operations. And going back to what I was saying earlier, I've worked out my to-do list and sort of made my list of 1 to 20. And at this point, it makes the most sense just to stick to the item so everything gets done and not giving preferential to one thing over another. So I put the picture frame at um, Jake as number one and then doing a few steps on it. And it kind of turns into every second day or every third day so I don't overwhelm my body. And, and then I've been going on to a more sed sedentary activity, working at the computer. I've been working on my taxes today as well. Anyway, it's just, I'm using those examples to try to help you figure out how to make the best out of your life. Again, this is one of those videos that requires thought after the fact. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye for now.